in the three day study tour. This more than 150 chairpersons of women councils from all the districts of Uganda visited a number of places that include the heart of Kenya's capital Nairobi, the Ugandan High Commission, shops and markets among others. The trip was organized by State Minister for Gender Peace Mutuzo as part of activities to celebrate Women's Day, slated for 8th March. Because the trip was intended to empower grassroots women economically, the women were taken around markets and shops operated by Ugandan women living in Nairobi. It has been a very big achievement for us and for the women. These women have been exposed to the market, markets in Kenya, and they have seen the potential of Ugandan goods to be sold here in Kenya. They have gone round and seen the hot culture, the flowering. I've been interacting with women who are doing business from Uganda and how they are looking after their children and family, how they are really raising their family and they are very happy. They were also given a full day to do some sightseeing around Nairobi City. The women also visited the Uganda High Commission in Nairobi and the Nairobi State County Assembly to have a feel of the assembly and the level of debate. The Nairobi speaker, Dr. Beatrice Alachi, encouraged the women to implement what they have learned back in Uganda. For this is one of the ways you empower them. I know they've learned a lot in Nairobi, in Kenya. They will now go and just see how to engage more. But for us also, you have given us a challenge that we don't need to be flying. You want to empower women. We came here to see what being in a middle income status means. What does it feel like? So that we see how to compete with you. You can't compete with something you don't know. We must not just imagine it. We must physically see it. So we have seen how developed Nairobi is. The women also visit small urban farms around Nairobi to learn modern farming as a way of equipping them with skills to grow more not only for family nutrition, but also for household food security. So this is what the Kenyan, uh, the Ugandan ladies or women have come to learn from Kenya and we are taking the system back home. I would like to request the women of Uganda, please, a good home, a developed home, the backbone of that home is a woman. Let us rise up and embrace this kind of work. In our small kitchen gardens, let us teach our children. When it's dry season, you can't get vegetables in the market. According to Mutuzo, this venture will be done quarterly to expose women in all East African countries to expose rural women and also empower them economically so that they can be at the forefront of transforming Uganda to a middle income status. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Nairobi, Kenya.